The Philippines is bracing for one of the most intense typhoon seasons in years. And the reason isn't climate change, at least not directly. It's La Nina, a massive ocean phenomenon that's already begun reshaping weather patterns across the Pacific. If you live in the Philippines, La Nina means one thing, more typhoons, heavier rainfall, and increased flooding risk in 2025. But what is La Nina? Why does it happen? And what should Filipinos expect this year? La Nina is a climate pattern that occurs in the Pacific Ocean every two to seven years. The name means little girl in Spanish, named to contrast with El Nino, the little boy, which has opposite effects. But don't let the gentle name fool you. La Nina is responsible for some of the most devastating weather events in Philippine history. To understand La Nina, we need to understand what's happening thousands of kilometers away in the Pacific Ocean. Normally, trade winds blow from east to west across the Pacific, from South America toward Asia and Australia. These winds push warm surface water westward, piling it up near the Philippines, Indonesia, and Australia. This warm water pool is called the Western Pacific Warm Pool. Meanwhile, cold water from the deep ocean rises to replace the warm water along the coast of South America. This is called upwelling. This is the normal state of the Pacific Ocean, but sometimes these trade winds strengthen significantly. When they do, they push even more warm water westward toward Asia. This creates La Nina. During La Nina, the Western Pacific Warm Pool, which includes Philippine waters, becomes even warmer than usual. At the same time, the Eastern Pacific near South America becomes colder than usual because more cold water is upwelling from the deep ocean. This temperature difference creates a feedback loop that strengthens the trade winds even more. And this is where the Philippines comes in. Typhoons form over warm ocean water. They need sea surface temperatures of at least 26.5 degrees Celsius to develop. During La Nina, the Western Pacific is significantly warmer than this threshold. Sometimes 28, 29, even 30 degrees Celsius. This supercharged warm water acts like rocket fuel for typhoon formation. More warm water equals more typhoons. Stronger warm water equals stronger typhoons. It's that simple. Pagasa, the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, has confirmed that La Nina conditions are present in 2025. What does this mean for the Philippines? First, expect more typhoons than normal. The Philippines typically experiences 20 typhoons per year. During La Nina years, this can increase to 23, 25, or even more. Second, these typhoons will likely be stronger. The warm ocean water doesn't just create more storms, it intensifies them. Third, rainfall will be heavier. La Nina brings increased moisture to the Western Pacific. When typhoons hit, they carry more water vapor, producing more intense rainfall. Fourth, flooding risk increases dramatically. Heavier rainfall combined with more frequent storms means less time for water to drain between events. Fifth, landslides become more likely. Saturated soil from continuous rainfall loses stability, especially in mountainous regions. La Nina doesn't just affect typhoons, it changes weather patterns across the Philippines. During La Nina, the Philippines typically experiences cooler temperatures, especially during the cold months of December through February. Rainfall increases across most of the country, particularly in areas that normally receive monsoon rains. The wet season may start earlier and last longer than usual, but the impacts aren't uniform across the country. Luzon, particularly the northern and eastern regions, typically sees the most significant impacts. These areas are in the direct path of typhoons forming in the Pacific. The Visayas also experiences increased typhoon activity and rainfall. Mindanao, particularly the southern regions, may actually experience some drought conditions in certain areas, though this varies. La Nina's impacts extend beyond immediate weather. Agriculture is heavily affected. Rice, corn, and other crops can be damaged by flooding or excessive rainfall. Ironically, some regions may benefit from increased rainfall if they typically experience dry conditions. Infrastructure faces increased stress. Roads, bridges, and drainage systems must handle higher water volumes. Economic impacts ripple across sectors, from agriculture to transportation to tourism. 
The current La Nina event began developing in late 2024 and is expected to persist through at least the first half of 2025. Meteorologists predict moderate La Nina conditions, meaning the effects will be noticeable but not extreme. However, climate models show uncertainty about how long La Nina will last. It could persist through the entire 2025 typhoon season, or it could weaken by mid-year. What Filipinos need to know is this. Prepare for an active typhoon season starting in June 2025 and extending through November. So what should Filipinos do? First, prepare your emergency kit now, before typhoon season begins. Include water, non-perishable food, flashlights, batteries, first aid supplies, important documents, and cash. Second, review your evacuation plan. Know your local evacuation routes and centers. Discuss plans with your family. Third, secure your property. Check your roof for damage. Clear drainage systems around your home. Secure loose items that could become projectiles in strong winds. Fourth, stay informed. Monitor Pegasa weather bulletins regularly during typhoon season. Don't rely solely on social media for weather information. Fifth, understand flood risks in your area. Know if you live in a flood-prone zone. Identify higher ground where you can evacuate if necessary. Sixth, prepare financially. Typhoons can disrupt work and damage property. Having savings or emergency funds provides a buffer. It's important to understand that La Nina isn't climate change, though climate change may be affecting how La Nina behaves. La Nina is a natural cycle that's been occurring for thousands of years. Scientists can see evidence of past La Nina events in coral records, tree rings, and other natural archives. However, there is growing evidence that climate change may be influencing La Nina's intensity and frequency. Warmer ocean temperatures overall mean that even normal conditions now provide more energy for storms. Rising sea levels mean that storm surges from typhoons reach farther inland. Changes in atmospheric circulation patterns may affect how La Nina develops and persists. This is an active area of climate research. Scientists are still working to understand exactly how climate change and La Nina interact. La Nina affects more than just the Philippines. Indonesia and Australia typically experience increased rainfall and flooding. The western coast of South America, Peru, Ecuador, Chile, experiences cooler, drier conditions. Parts of Africa and South America may experience drought conditions. The southwestern United States often sees drier conditions during La Nina. La Nina even affects global weather patterns, influencing everything from Atlantic hurricane season to winter conditions in North America. The Pacific Ocean doesn't just affect local weather, it influences climate worldwide. La Nina will eventually end. These events typically last 9 to 12 months, though some can persist for 2 or even 3 years. When La Nina ends, conditions will return to normal, or potentially shift to El Nino, which has opposite effects. El Nino brings warmer, drier conditions to the Philippines, with fewer typhoons but increased risk of drought. The cycle between La Nina, neutral conditions, and El Nino is called the El Nino Southern Oscillation, or ENSO. Understanding this cycle helps meteorologists predict weather patterns months in advance. The Philippines sits in one of the most disaster-prone regions on Earth not just because of earthquakes and volcanoes, but because of our location relative to the Pacific Ocean. La Nina is just one of many climate patterns that affect our islands. But unlike earthquakes or volcanic eruptions, we can see La Nina coming, we can predict its effects, and we can prepare. The 2025 typhoon season will be challenging. La Nina conditions mean Filipinos should expect more storms, heavier rainfall, and increased flooding risk. But forewarned is forearmed. Prepare your emergency kits. Review your evacuation plans. Stay informed through official sources. Support your communities. La Nina is coming, but the Philippines has weathered these storms before. With preparation and vigilance, we'll weather them again. Stay safe, Philippines. Monitor Pagasa weather bulletins. And remember, the best time to prepare for a typhoon is before it forms. La Nina 2025. Be ready.